In the fall of 1999, 12 frigates were planned under Turkey's Milgum National Ship Program, four Istanbul-class frigates, four Ada-class corvettes and four TF-2000-class air warfare destroyers were to be built for the Turkish Navy. However, after purchasing three Oliver Hazard Perry-class frigates from the USA, this number was reduced to aid. According to the first TF-2000 project, it was planned to be commissioned between 2003-2008 by being built at Golchik Shipyard and private shipyards, at a cost of approximately $3 billion. Because of the economic crisis after the 1999 earthquake, on the 17th of August 1999, Turkey's naval modernization plan for the project was reduced to four frigates. In mid-2001, the acquisition effort was suspended. In 2010, Turkey revived the ambitious program to build six TF-2000 anti-air warfare frigates to bolster its Navy's defense capabilities. The Undersecretariat for Defense Industries, Turkey's Defense Procurement Agency, in early March 2010, collected information from several foreign and domestic companies seeking to take part in the TF-2000 program, which was expected to cost around $3 billion. The program was expected to be completed in 10-12 years and provide the Navy with its next-generation frigates. As of 2012, the first ship was planned to enter service in 2018. Turkey originally designed the program in the late 1990s, but the 2001 financial crisis then prompted Ankara to shelve it indefinitely. In 2006, Turkey's top procurement body, the Defense Industry Executive Committee, decided to revive the project and called for the manufacture of six TF-2000 frigates instead of an earlier planned eight. The TF-2000 frigate was expected to have a displacement of over 6,000 tons. Naval warfare helicopters and pilotless aircraft also were planned to take off from the TF-2000. The timetable called for completing the design by 2011, with a batch I contract signed for two vessels in 2014 and commissioning in 2021 and 2022 by one account. The first ship was planned to enter service in 2018, according to another source. Batch 2, with three vessels, will proceed from 2023-28. Few details are known about weapons and sensors, but each ship will have 32 VLS cells, a MK-41 launcher that fires standard SM-2 and ESSM anti-air missiles, two helicopters, a 127mm gun, anti-ship missiles and anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. The Undersecretariat for Defense Industries SSM, initiated the TF-2000 program to meet the anti-air warfare frigate requirement of Turkish Naval Forces Command. In this regard, Request for Information RFI, was issued 15 January 2010 by SSM to gather administrative, financial, and technical information for the systems from relevant companies' organizations for planning purposes of the program. By June 2012 Lockheed Martin was left as the only bidder in the $3 billion project for the joint manufacture of six frigates for the Turkish Navy, after Ankara rejected the remaining contender Bay Systems proposal. Bay had offered the new Type 26 frigate, internationally known as the Global Combat Ship GCS. But Turkey wants the Turkish company Aselsan's multifunctional phased array radar project Kofrad, to be inserted into the AN Spy-1. Turkish Havelson's Genesis to replace Aegis, and this combination to be integrated with the SM-3 system. The project may still not be awarded to Lockheed Martin if an agreement cannot be reached on the technical aspects of missile integration. Such an eventuality would cause the project to be shelved and then reshaped. Milgum could be redesigned to manufacture a light frigate for air defense warfare, named TF-100. The STM Defense Technologies Engineering and Trade Inc. has been building marine platforms and carried out modernization works at home and abroad. It was the main contractor building the 5th Milgum vessel the Istanbul frigate, F-515. It signed related agreements with the Presidency of Defense Industry last April. The STM has worked with approximately 300 system providers and more than 400 building materials suppliers and manufacturers in projects it has undertaken so far. It was responsible for the new vessel's design, weapons, electronics, and main propulsion systems.
By the end of 2016, Turkish defense industry was moving towards the future with sure steps. The TF-2000 air defense frigate was the latest addition to these projects. The TF-2000 was a defense against ballistic defects in the air defense giants of the world, with very little in the hands of the world's superpowers, England and France. The TF-2000 was supposed to produce four of the warships. Unit cost was estimated to be $1 billion, according to experts' estimates. The TF-2000 project will house many innovations in the world and give power to the Turkish Navy. TF-2000 project information request file was published in May 1996, and Ihalai called Dokumani was published in 1998. Target was six frigates, a budget of $5 billion, and service dates starting in 2004. However, the project was delayed due to the 1999 Golchuk earthquake and the economic crisis afterwards. The number was reduced to four by the Defense Industry Executive Committee. Designed by DZKK, Ligi ARMERKOM Design Office, it was anticipated that design works will end in 2016. The vessels will have a length of 147 meters, 480 feet, width, 18 meters, full displacement of 7,000 tons, and a crew of 220, at a price of 1 billion United States dollars per number, estimated, the first TF-2000 will be produced in the shipyard of Istanbul. The next three ships will be produced by private company shipyards. It was anticipated that the TF-2000 frigates will be in Turkish seas in the 2020. The project, which was originally planned to be built as a frigate class with a weight of 6,000 tons and a length of 147 meters, was later planned by the Ministry of National Defense, citing the changing conditions of the day as a destroyer, destroyer of 7,000 tons weight and 166 meters length. The TF-2000 Air Defense Warship, which was designed by the Design Project Office, DPO of the Naval Forces Command, was originally planned to have 32 vertical launch system VLS cells. According to the design studies carried out in this context, the ship was classified as frigate in terms of length and displacement. However, with a later decision, the number of VLS to be on board was increased from 32 to 64. For this, the design was changed by the DPO. The length of the ship was extended, and 32 more VLS cells were placed in the middle section of the ship. As a result, the length of the ship was 166 meters, and its displacement was 7,000 tons. Due to the increase in the size of the ship, the Naval Forces Command changed the name of TF-2000 Air Defense Warfare Frigate to TF-2000 Air Defense Destroyer. TF-2000 Air Defense Warfare Destroyer was planned to be included in the Turkish Naval Forces Command Inventory in 2027.